my question is, why does this happen? I have a theory. This part here is pointing up like an arrow, arrow's head. There's a cogwheel going around here, which pulls the filament. And then you have the opposite part is this one where the cogwheel pulls it upwards. So it's placed in like this. At first, I thought this was caused by the spring. Because here, the spring goes in here. And it presses this one inwards. And despite what it looks like on the picture, these teeth do not touch the filament. I thought that at first, but it's the cogwheel underneath that touched the filament. So these, these teeth don't touch it. These are only there to drive the uh, cogwheel underneath. And uh, the filament is getting pushed from the top here and down. But I have a suspicion that if there is the slightest, slightest curve of filament, it hits the edge on the inside or the outside. And then you get your first sort of thumble or stop. Uh, because it cannot push it, so it tries to put the filament back. But because on the first push down here, where it cannot get it through the hole, it creates a bend on top. So it pull, try to pull it back, but it cannot pull it out of this part afterwards, because there is already a tiny bend here. And then it tries to put it back, and it just keeps doing this several times, and it creates this bend. So some people say this bend is like a... Uh, it keeps uh, trying to grind the filament. Well, in, in reality, I think the reason here is that the opening here is too small. So there is literally no uh, way for the filament to be guided into the hole if the filament has the slightest bit of angle or let's say you pull back filament that has been melted, that filament has a small string to it on the top. And it could perfectly be melted again, but because that string may get pushed on the side, you can get filament leftovers stuck in the side or on this side. But the main problem here is that I think this one here, if that had been more like a, like a funnel, that can adapt a much bigger piece of filament downwards, then you could avoid these sticking motions because basically the, if it comes a little bit narrow, then that funnel will basically change the direction of the filament into the correct hole. Currently, if you, if you look here, there is even a small gap on the side, which again would further possibly create this problem. I don't know if it's even possible because the cog wheels are kind of just in the size. You see here is the cog wheel on the other side. Uh, let me see if I can get on camera. So the cog wheels here, like it's the outermost this one. They are designed to be kind of tight. And in addition to that spring right there, it will push uh, the filament, push against the filament even. Uh, and, and you can say this, uh, this uh, cogwheel here, it will not move sideways. This one moves sideways and the actual motion is being pushed inwards. And if you look at the, at the, the way the filament has been pushed, it looks like something that has been repeatedly pushed from the left towards the right. Because it basically could not fit through the hole at the bottom. So I don't know if anyone at Bamboo can potentially fix this or make some e better way of funneling down the filament. 
Maybe you could uh, change the design here a little bit. So instead of having this come up, instead of having this piece here come up in like an arrowhead, you could uh, uh, maybe have an opening so it comes up like a funnel instead in some way. I think that would be a much better design if possible to allow for the filament to pass through if it's just a little bit slightly out of alignment without causing the filament here to get scorched, bent and break. So uh, I've had so many clogs now lately and it has always been due to this happening inside your extruder. So I hope you can take this to heart because I know for sure I'm not the only one who has had this problem. And I do believe this is not a problem with the filament being wet. I do believe this is a problem with the design of the extruder. But because you cannot pull the filament upwards now. Because of course, this, the hole at the top is the same size as here. Uh, you can only pull the filament up to the nozzle tip here, where it again becomes too big for the nozzle to get pulled out. So basically that is what's happening. It keeps pulling it up to here and it fails. It tries pushing it down and that fails. And every time it does that, it will uh, bend and create more bend in the filament. Uh, so this is the extruder of a Bamboo X1C, hardened steel extruder. And uh, Besides this, there is no clogging or anything else inside the extruder. Uh, I don't even know if you could fix this. Uh, yeah. Um, again, also, I wish, I really wish you kept that transparent extruder so people could actually see what is happening in real time. Because then you could troubleshoot more, you could actually see this happening on the first go. You could like keep monitoring it because you know it's going to happen and then you can see actually what's going to happen. Uh, I've seen pictures online where this extruder is 100% see-through because you had some kind of prototype that would have been nice to have. Anyway, um, this is what I think is the cause of all your problems with the extruders. Uh, and I think it really can be fixed if you change the design of the bottom inlet of filament in the extruder. Thanks for watching and listening.